Uh, the Supreme Court, in, during, uh, during oral arguments uh, in April, focused a lot on cloud services and how a ruling in this case might have effects that go beyond your, your company and your technology and touch upon a range of cloud services where people store personal photos and videos in addition to other, other things. Articulate what, um, what the court is wrestling with. Sure. So um, let me paint a hypothetical, or, or not a hypothetical, but a, a practical thing that I do today. So I buy all, a lot of my music from iTunes, but I have two phones. I have an Android phone and I have an iPhone. And I don't have a music service with Android that I buy music from. You know, I right. subscribe to Spotify and all these other things. But I have my playlist that I've designed. And right. I, so what I do is it's DRM-free music once you pay extra for Apple. I take that and I sync that with Android, with mm -hmm. Google, Google Drive. Play. Yeah. Now what I've done is legitimately acquired content. Yes. Took it, moved from one cloud service to another cloud service. Let's assume that Apple had paid extra or whatever for the you know, cloud storage thing. Right. Google has no idea where the content came from. Right. And let's assume it's legitimate right. because I'm an honest guy. So what's happened now is I am, I've moved all my content and I'm streaming that content from, to my Android phone. Right. If you take the broadcaster's position, which is that you have to basically aggregate all of those performances and in their entirety, forever and ever, that is a public performance. Poor Google has gotten ensnared in this for no reason. Mm -hmm. The way they are offering storage to a consumer, the consumer's putting their stuff and right. streaming theirs. Now you compare that with Aereo. The most legitimate piece of content you could record for yourself, according to the Supreme Court, is free-to-air broadcast mm -hmm. for Sony. Mm -hmm. So now I recorded free-to-air broadcast on my home DVR, right. or my VCR, let's, right. let's be archaic about this. And then I took that, and I loaded up in my Google Drive, and I mm -hmm. streamed it to myself. Right. Would you say that's legal or not? Not an attorney, but it would seem like it would fall within fair, fair use. I mean, I, like, you know, I've, I've made a, record, a private recording, which I'm delivering to right. my own device. So in, now juxtapose that with the Aereo system. I took my antenna, which mm -hmm. I control. Right. Aereo doesn't control. Aereo right. has no idea what I'm right. doing or not with it. Right. And I say, record this show on a disc for me. Mm -hmm instructed this completely anonymously, no humans involved, nothing, except right. technology that's in my box is now just remotely right. located. So this is the problem that implicates all of cloud computing. So today, if you go, you can store a file of music in Dropbox. In fact, Drop, Dropbox even sure. dedupes it. So if you take the broadcaster's thesis, you basically have to re-aggregate everything and say, broadcast Dropbox is now liable for performance rights. Right. Poor Dropbox had nothing to do with this whole thing. <laughs> right. That's the, the because technologically, the, the way the statute works and how the technologies work, there's no distinction between mm -hmm. these things.